Now, so we're here about to do a little bite work. I know I get a lot of great questions. And if I'm being honest, I ain't answered a question in a good while, so I don't know what y'all asking. But <laughs> we're about to get you Marcus in the Zoot Suit. And we're going to do a little bite work. It's 2,000 degrees in Texas, or Texas. I'm going to hold his phone and the keys. We're going to, today we're going to show you guys a little bit uh, about, you know. Yeah, a little. Mm -hmm. Update you with Rocco. Show you a couple things we mind for love when you got a veteran. And then uh, we're going to bring Tranisha out. And it's hot. I don't think I did. Have you ever seen, what's the last time you saw a bite work up close to person? That day when, Dre. <laughs> oh, that one day. That was it. Oh, that's child's play. Well, yeah, I've at, yeah, uh, I've never seen the suit. Oh, you've never seen the suit? Where were we at? Uh, yeah, Auburn Hill or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rocco, you gotta relax, man. Rocco's charged up. He hey. is definitely charged. <laughs> that's the kind of excitement you want to see, though. This, Hey, guys, putting on this suit is a Herculean task. When I tell you a Herculean task, well, you like, don't know. You don't put on no damn suit. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. But I will say he's right. Didn't it is a Herculean task. No. Not once. Nah, bro. Not a once. Yeah. You want me to get you out of the driver's land? <laughs> like, he's like, I don't get it. I go, shh. Hey, there's worse problems to have. Jesus Christ, relax, dude, relax. relax. <laughs> it's like putting on the fat suit if he was another Boy, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to tie my shoes and I'm like, man. Gosh. I'm sorry, man, I gotta stay in this gym. <laughs> uh, so we're, gonna start, we're gonna start with Rocco. Show the veteran. Look, he got veterans and pit bulls. And you know what, we can have, she can handle Tron. Yeah. That'll be good. That'll be good. So guys, make sure you always strap up, uh, in this case, three times. Are <laughs> we looking at four? Five. Five. Ooh. We got a whole open field here. Could this kind of work makes some people uncomfortable, but it is a big opportunity, to say the least. He's gonna let Rocco out so he can get him a couple chews. That's right there, it's part of the process. You jog it out real quick, get familiar with the, uh, the suit. Then you go to work. Uh oh, that little dog better not come out. I know that. <laughs> oh, this thing just joker stiff. That joker stiff, man. My legs are sore too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's go on leash first. Remember, get your arm up. They'll come up. Yep. Or you can put them in a the pocket. Hand to chin, right? Or you can put them in a the pocket. Hey. He, a he needs to get his rocks off. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Am I right? I'm gonna uh, alert him and you come up and you can present the bite. Got you. Ready? Watch about him, he knows he can't get you where you're standing. You gotta make sure you're close. Is it right? Work. Woo! Yeah! Woo! Yeah. All right, ready? Let's go, Rocco. Woo! Dang, boy. Oh, Dang, boy. That elbow. Dang, boy. Yes, Rocco. Come on. Yes. Good boy. Eat, 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 eat. Yeah. yeah. Tron both have the strongest bites from what I've learned. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's ascend so we can get this. You ready? You wanna rush? There we go. There we go. There we go. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Rock. Come on, Rock. Come on, Rock. 
Yeah. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Eat, 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 eat. Ah. Let's go, let's go. Rock. Guard. Now move quick. <laughs> Or Toronto and Jamarcus is out here in the suit. He's just having some fun, man. Yeah, that's hot, bro. Yeah, it's hotter in Texas. Hot. Ooh, he ready? is. He's ready. Hi, Boy, you better calm down. Come running at me like that. <laughs> Coming out like a firecracker. Boy, need to calm down. All right, so we're gonna switch leashes. So guys, what I love about this is kennel partner of ours. This is where we're staying for the time being. We've got big dreams, high hopes. She wanted to come and see the dogs work. The best way to see something is to experience it <laughs> that's the best way to do it so uh, I look like a goofy person the first time Sam was like be a tree I'm like <laughs> that's not how you do it, but you get you got to get that dog got to feed him a little bit so you see that excitement and his uh, leash holding skills <laughs> mm -hmm. when doing bite work but she enjoys this type of stuff so Stan's gonna walk her through just the first step and there's no better way to show somebody you never done this before. <laughs> I got you let's do it <laughs> Go ahead and put the suit put on. that uh, clip in your pocket, right behind yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. There we go, people. All right, so we we'll go over here. Are you right hand or left hand? Right. All right, so you can put your right hand through, and then you're gonna tuck it back. I'm gonna show you first time. Okay. Go have him facing Try. that way. What are you doing? I know you don't squat like no girl. Mm -hmm. He's smooth, gonna squat and pee. So basically, hand here. I'm gonna tuck it back, kind of grab your ass. Okay. And then kind of get a nice little stance. This hand is to guide. Okay. You're not holding with this hand. If you hold this hand, you're gonna fall over. Okay. If you wanna hold with that hand, we got it in high definition. <laughs> and he's gonna slow mo it, your face is gonna <laughs> look crazy. So basically, you'll tell him, work. <laughs> so then you just try to hold him back. <laughs> Pushing in here. Okay. Big old dog, so it's a little bit, it's understandable. But you just want to try to stay still because he's, he's gauging how far he can get. Okay. So when he goes in the bite, you kind of just give him a little. Let's go. Let's go. Woo! 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 Come on, boy. Ooh, that's a good little spicy. Get in there, boy. Bite. Come on, there we go. Yes. You walk up. You want to keep your leash tight and pull back. Yes. Come on, Come on Trent. Good. Come on, get in there. There we go. Yes. You can hold it from here. Come on, bro. Power. So I'm holding it here while he's up here? Yes. There you go. Good boy, Tron. And then you can reach up, pedal. Good boy. Come on, Tron. Come on, Tron. Come on, Tron. Work. Now All freeze right. up. And you're going to tell him. Out. So give him a little slack. Slack? Trump, yeah. out. Hey, let it go. Because if we're pulling back, it's causing him to bite harder. Got it. All right, you ready for this? Mm -hmm. So put your right <laughs> leg back and give him more leash. Okay. There you go. So I'm just holding it here. Yep, and then tuck this in. Yep. You ready? Wanna, yeah. Have a squat down, get a good stance. Work. Work. Oh, it's you. Come on, Trey. Come on, Trey. Come on, Trey. He probably won't work because he's hot. Ready? Woo. Let's go. Work. Come on. Oh, shit. Good boy. Yes. Come on, Sean. Come on. Come on, Sean. Get in there. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Come on. Come on. Ah. We'll do one sim with Tron too. Yes. Alright. Help! Tron, drop it. 
you know, shakes it out. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Here's it. Guys, so you just got to see her first time look. It's a really uncomfortable thing. <laughs> when you like, you like, oh my dog, I thought it was a nice dog. And <laughs> your dog's chewing on a human being in a suit. It's rough to watch, but it's fun to see because, you know, every time you bring a dog like Tron back for a little practice, you know, he said, man, you know what? My home feel a little safer. I feel, I feel a little safer by having this dog in here. At anywho, Jamarcus is gonna turn into a moving target. We missed the last one. <laughs> Stay strong. This time, when it's time, just let him go, okay? It's like off this right? Yeah, just let the whole thing go. Ready, money? Oh, yeah. Yeah, try. Ready? Ready? Let's go. Let go. Woo, 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 woo. Work. Come on, try. Come on, try. Work. Woo. Come on. Work, 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 work. Let's go. Come on. What's that, man? Ah. We're getting there. Giving him a good target, making sure trying to get a good bite. Good boy. Come on. Come on. Yes. Do one more. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, let's do another one. And then, Jamarcus, slow down your catch. Got you. Out. So you were already absorbing before he was necessarily on the bite. Yeah, no, I, I felt that. That makes sense. Boy, it's cooking, man. Yeah. It's the last one here. Shit. <laughs> We showed you a little bite work today. We used two different dogs. One who's a veteran in this space, a little bit out, out the game a little bit, but still well versed in how to uh, have a good time on a bite suit. Now Jamarcus is learning to decoy, so while you're watching the decoy go through its process, psychologically he's getting there. As soon as you get in the suit, he hits his jog, and that jog, he's getting his mind ready more than likely, but he's also just getting familiar with you know how that suit is going to function and how to function in the suit that suit oftentimes is really stiff so when you get hit we we miss the clip on this camera but when you get hit if your feet aren't under you they're gonna be on top of you <laughs> and down he went down goes Frazier couple things you start off on the leash which Stan did both for Jamarcus's sake and Rocco when's the last time he had a bite I'd be lying if I said I had a day. Exactly. It's probably been at least two, three months. And technically, Rocco's in retirement. So in retirement, Stan's not out there every day. Heel, down, sit, lay. He's like, you know what? My boy's gonna just live a good life until he checks out of here. So Rocco, what was called, maybe a little rusty even. So he, heel, tighten him up on that leash, tighten him up on that leash, and then get him out in front of the decoy, make sure Rocco and him are still connected. That leash is a line of communication. So he's like, ah. He can control him better when he's on a leash. Then you say, okay, fine. Now let's do a few sins. Do a few sins, guess what? Rocco, still gonna take a few cheap shots, but he still did a good job. And then we bring out, of course, my boy Tronisha. <laughs> Tron is, we disclose, a dog who is not thinking about what he's doing. And that's not a good thing. Is he focused somewhat, but if you focus, you normally hit your target. So what we saw, that's why Stan also jumped in the suit, was when Jamarcus gave him some good targets, Tron bit, Tron bit, Tron bit. I believe Tron threw him a little information right now, ear, so every part of his body is probably a little uncomfortable and I have to solve for that. But he got on a good bite via the what? Leash. And then we did a few sins and Tron hit him, but didn't bite him. So he got there, closed his eyes, and it was a hope that he bit. As Stan said, hope is good on Sundays. And it, if I'm being honest, not even good on Sundays. <laughs> so. What we did was, or what Stan did specifically was, huh, let me see if I stand in front of him and give him a target how he does. Bit. Take a few more steps. Bit. Part of your job when watching a decoy or learning from a decoy is creating processes to encourage the dog to do the best it can do. And we saw some improvement, but uh, in this Texas heat, if I'm being honest, the best of the best probably won't do their best in this heat. And if you do get your best, it's going to be one or two times tops. It was a hot ride over there. It's hot in the garage where, you know, Tron is at times. It's hot just in general. As soon as you get out there, the heat's beaming. It's, the, the, it's been raining, so it's humid. The dog can't breathe. I can't breathe. Jamarcus can't breathe. You look up, can't nobody breathe, and everybody's hot and bothered, and, and not in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> so, pace yourself when decoying. Always start on the leash. Make sure you have someone like Stan who can be there to protect anyone learning to decoy. We put our kennel partner in position to just get familiar with uh, being a tree and stabilizing the dog in a sense, getting control of the situation. Uh, and you know, it's fun watching new people do new things because you like, I don't come from a background where I'm super encouraging in that way. 
that old <laughs> rooting for your thing, I'm rooting for you by telling you what work to do. <laughs> and I ain't raising my voice or clapping. I'm like, well, you should have done some more of that. So, so when you do see, and I've been in the same position as she was, someone say, man, praise that dog, man. Tell that dog, good job. It throws you off and it really makes you think about how much of a happier person you need to become <laughs> because of just of it is. I'm like, it make you feel, feel uncomfortable until you get hip to it because you are proud of that dog. You are glad that he's growing. You are excited about those little steps. And I'm not a parent. So I don't know what that's like to uh, be on the other side uh, of like super excited about watching your kids progress. Even when I was doing T-Fit, I didn't go to the games because I thought the kids were supposed to do great. You know, it's like, yo, we did all this work seven for five days straight, if not seven days. And someone's like, oh, you know, he had four or five touchdowns. He's supposed to. Hey, you going to the game? Nope. <laughs> Handle your business, boy. It's that simple. <laughs> and, and but again, I was raised in an environment where you were supposed to to do your best and do more than anybody else could. So when you excel, or people say, "Oh, you're excelling in such and such," yeah, no, <laughs> I'm not sitting around waiting for anything. We work. When I get out of here, I left track practice, and my dad would make me go run 400s. I mean, I, I left the gym and had to go to the gym with my dad. I, everything that I did, I wrote the school a paper, I had to write my dad a paper, you know? And I'm talking about like white blood cells, red blood cells, why Christianity came into effect, the story of Constantine, Wu Cha, I could go down the line. I had to read and do book reports for my dad while still doing book reports for the school. So I always had to overachieve at home. School was just a place I had to go to every now and then for about seven, eight hours. So in this case, really had to start thinking about how to uh, be grateful that my dogs are improving and just show gratitude. And it took me back to a place with Tim Callahan when I was building Shawnee Mission West up. He said, uh, I was so, I'd be disappointed every day. That's the truth. And in my mind, the kids could always do better. I said, I will tell you, good job today, but y'all could have done a few more reps correctly. <laughs> and I remember Callahan, he says, hey, uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> I know you got some high standards, T, but you know nobody's working as hard as these kids, so you gotta tell them good job. And hearing that from Coach Callahan, that resonated, which took me back to a moment where Stan was like, he gotta praise that dog. I said, he's right. And guess what? Shawnee Mission West won state. Shawnee Mission East went 13 and 0. Shawnee Mission South 25 and 0. You give them. So my point is, is when I became, when I showed the reciprocity, AKA the reciprocation of their effort and my intent for them to do good. And they got better. Everybody's game even elevated. They're like, oh, he's telling us we're doing a good job. And I didn't think that words mattered that much because I'm not a words of affirmation person. <laughs> but they do, especially for your dog. So stay tuned, take care of your dogs. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. This is one of many steps as we continue to introduce you to things that we're doing as we move the needle forward and just learn more about the space we're in and how to impact it. Kat, any final words? What was it like holding Tron and watching him do his thing? I'm not gonna curse on the camera, but that boy's strong. <laughs> 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 I feel like, I feel like, I don't know. I got some strong legs. <laughs> Yeah, and, and how was it watching Rocco? Because you, you you saw a, a, like a bite sleeve, but not a bite suit. Yeah, I've never seen Rocco before. Oh, oh. He's a psycho. <laughs> she, she turned up a little, bit. She, a little bit. she comes from the bully space, and you know, these dogs, pit bulls in general, were bred to, to do a good job. A good job. You know, I love that. The, the Lord used to have that thing, good dogs bite hard. Mm -hmm. I hate she'd stop using I'm like, that's the one. That was a good one. That good dogs bite hard was her saying. I go, I hate I didn't come up with that one. <laughs> but I hadn't even got into the bite space yet with Stan. So it's fun watching people uh, see it for the first time. And then, you know, I think the exciting part is when Jamarcus flipped. But that's why I was like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> like, it was like slow motion. It's like, is he going to kill me? <laughs> And, and you know what the beauty about it is, is sometimes Stan has both Oakley and Rocco. He'll send two dogs at a time. So imagine having that pseudo and two dogs going 30 and smashing you. You're not on your feet after that. I mean, you got to be real. I'm talking a tree for real life. Coordinated. Super coordinated. In that stiff suit, to be clear. He's got a suit that's a little bit more broken in. And 
but then you feel that <laughs> no, bite a little bit more. Yeah. It's like, yeah, you get more movement, but you feel more. So, like, ah, boy, they getting me, boy. <laughs> That's how you need dogs off me, brother. <laughs> At any who stay tuned, take care of your dogs, people. If you got questions, comment below about the things you'd love to learn or see more of. Um, believe me, nutrition, everything goes into this. And uh, Stan, as always, thank you for showing us a little bite work, man. Hey, and, and if you guys want to see Jamarcus go on two dogs, let us know. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna read those comments. <laughs> <laughs>